Hello, awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today, we're taking a look at Manly Wade Wellman's short story. It's seven pages long in this 100 ghostly uh, stories, uh, about 600 pages long in the uh, book collection. Uh, it's um, I knocked it out last night uh, called The Theater Upstairs uh, for you folks. Now, I was supposed to be reading the 32 page long seventh short story in The Weird Tales. Uh, but I was uh, sleepy, and I had already uh, taken a nap for that day, and I was pretty lazy, uh, and so forth. And so I wanted to read something after the news, and I was getting sleepy and yawning a lot. So I just read a seven-page short story, which didn't even take me too long uh, for me to go back and knock it out. Before you folks, and I picked up this collection about a year or so ago. I knocked out a few short stories from it. Uh, by authors in here that are big names in the horror genre, or other genres in some cases. Like Ramsey Campbell, there's a few in here by August Derleth. Um, there's one in here by J.P. Lovecraft and so forth. So I went back and knocked out the Manly Wade Woman one in here. Uh, Manly Wade Woman, as a reminder, is an appendix and is one of the most influential people in Dungeons and Dragons, according to the co-creator, Gary Gygax, who has in his first edition, uh, Dungeon Master's Guide, that was published in the late 70s. Uh, he says he has an appendix in where he lists all of the places uh, that he got his ideas from. So going back and reading this horror short story uh, from Manly Lily Woman's pretty cool. Um, he's, he's a pretty influential guy. Uh, and so, so he's, he's pretty fun, uh, and, and I like him a lot. So we're doing this horror short story. Again, didn't even take me like 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 uh, that long for me to knock it out for you folks a couple of nights ago. So, Manly Wade Woman's is the theater upstairs. It takes place uh, in a theater district uh, in London. Uh, they are have a theater upstairs, which are against the code. Our point of view character is a female character who is invited uh, to a, a, a theatrical performance uh, by a significant other of hers. They're not married, uh, but they, they are they are dating. So anyway, so they go to this theater uh, and they start it, and it is showing uh, the Horla, a short story by Guy de Maupassant that has been. Uh, Changed into a drama, it's it's considered a classic in this in this era, uh, and so forth. I've actually reviewed it for you folks and love it. Uh, it's my favorite short story by Guy de Maupassant. Uh, but anyway, so that's fun. And then uh, we, we we so we're going to go deeper and deeper into what's actually happening. Uh, but that's sort of the framing uh, device. Uh, this woman on a date with her man over at a theater upstairs that's showing the horror love. Um, and it has adapted it for stage. So that's what's happening. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, again, I, I keep my reviews spoiler free, so I won't be doing a deep dive into this, uh, into the my thing. And there's not a whole lot to talk about anyway, because it's only seven pages long, right? So it's not like it's going to take that much of your time. So, so anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read The Theater Upstairs uh, by Manly Wade Woman? If so, what do you think? I'm giving this probably, it was very fun, very fast, uh, very well paced. I'm giving this a 7 plus, like a 7.2 or 7.3, and I'm running up to a 10. Uh, but uh, because it's a lot of fun stuff, it's happening, you know. But, but it's not one of my favorite horror stories, but I'm in a little bit of them. Like Frogfather, uh, that's much better, I think, better uh, and 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 and, used, and paced well and well written uh, and so forth. Uh, but so, do you think it's a seven plus out of ten? If so, or different? Uh, what do you think? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you want to talk about the ending, let's do that too. I'm happy to talk with you further about it in the uh, comments below. If you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. Uh, finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.